What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. This big old red and yellow truck probably gave it away, but Mac Daddy Michael's here. So let's take a look and see what he's got. Come on. weekend uh-oh it is my weekend today um, is it huh? friday off and we're headed down to the swamp to do some hunting this weekend there so you go teal teal season huh? chase the teal there you go them so, little old things eat good and they fun to shoot i've been watching on their website the place at lodge we're going down there every morning here lately it's been they've shot five six man limits and Man, yeah. done by 7 30 o'clock all blue wings or the greens mixed in a little above I had one guy tell me I'd rather dove hunt. I thought, what? Man. You think dove are quick and that Man. dip and die. Darn teal give you a challenge, doves. They just come floating in there. Oh well. So. Each their own, but I can tell you which one I'd prefer to eat. Oh, for sure. All day long in a little old teal. I mean they aren't you know, a dove just a chicken nugget, but uh <laughs> That's about right. Them teal at least make it worth cleaning them. You know, so. Exactly right. Man, I tell you, it's a lot of work to pluck a teal, but if you want to make duck dressing, teal and wood duck is the best ones I to use. I can see that. So Man, soft and tender. God. I got to quit talking about this because I ain't eat supper yet. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you got this thing packed full. It's loaded down. Did you notice that lot, the light had went out and then I walked forward and it come back on? Oh, the motion detector. I'm gonna blind y'all for a minute and that way y'all can see it. I've been messing with everybody today. They'll come on and it hit them in the back of the head and come on. <laughs> Why's that thing come on on song? I said, well, it's got the motion sensor in it. Y'all, that's pretty cool. You ain't had no more electrical issues, have you? No, I finally got that nightmare fixed. That's good. See, I've got the grinder bogos going yeah like. i found a few of them in the shop still left on a deal Ooh, fellas y'all looking for some that's a buy and a half the first time michael came here i got a set of those and uh i haven't been good to them i'm gonna be honest with you i hadn't oiled them like i'm supposed to and uh they're still running you buy them to use not baby so and i didn't have any oil one time so i did put some transmission fluid in it ah, it cleans them up even better so they choked it on down and kept trucking so with october coming up i got in a nice little october box back there with breast cancer coming Ooh, man that's got racing stripes on it almost that's cool that's like the dodge racing stripe you know they just put it on part of it yeah <laughs> that thing is cool man that looks really good it's got it down the front yeah probably can't get a good angle on it but that's a big old box too 4127. 27 deep? Mm -hmm. Wow. Man. You can. So, what's the deal with the key? So, you can leave the top open and lock the drawers? You can do it either or. You can leave, lock your drawers there and leave the top where they people can get in the top. Say, mm -hmm. somebody needs to use your scanner that's in the top, you don't yeah. get in your wrenches. Or you don't have access to your scanner, but you don't mind them using some sockets and pry bars and screwdrivers down here, you know. You can leave all that unlocked. So this does the same thing as the lever on all the other boxes. Right. But you can actually lock it. Lock it. Yeah. Hmm. And it's got all your pry bar and screwdriver holders in the side over here. And Man, that's a good looking box. And you can actually put some real size pry bars in this one. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get to y'all and tell how deep that is. Like, that's, okay. that's a pretty good, that's at least probably seven inches or so. It's pretty good. Look at Michael gonna break out the Dewalt tape measure. Oh, it was eight. I've been underestimating myself for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> See, most guys would call that twelve, but I, well, I called you know, it seven. You know, it was actually know, eight. Benefit of the doubt, you know. Look at there, man. I'm gonna have to break out my tape measure. 
you know, if you use the centimeter side, it's way more impressive. Oh, absolutely. You know, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just looked the number on there. I didn't have my glasses. All I did was read the number. It was a tape measure. So. Oh, man. Yeah, it's a good looking box. So it's got the got... rubber mat that goes on top. I just put the box on here. I didn't have a chance to put that on it yet. But... So you only got one of them, huh? Um, or did you get one got, of and get one? Uh, four of them in, I believe. Ooh. He got two, I ordered two, and one was already spoken for the two that I ordered before I got it in. Cool. Man, that's a so, big box. My wife laid claim to one of the ones that I got in. So, oh, Are you going to have access to it, or is she going to keep both of them locked? I guess it depends on the day and what mood she's in. I don't know. <laughs> Man, but. that thing is clean, dude. I like it. I actually like it. I think it looks better than if they'd have put a pink strap on each side. It looks better yeah. that way. Yeah. It's just, it's, it gives it the pink and the breast cancer reputation and all that, but it don't overpower the classiness look of the box. Yeah. I mean, it's true. clean, it's sleek looking, and it gives it some nice yeah, I like decoration. It, man. <coughs> I like the, I mean, it's just, like you say, it's clean. I like mm -hmm. the, I like the way they did it. And I really like the ribbon they put on the front here. Mm -hmm. They did a good job on that. Well, what other cool, new, and exciting stuff you got? Um, I think I want to take everybody there outside before it gets too dark and let them check out the uh, pimp mobile out there. <laughs> yeah. Like, you need to show that off. That thing is super cool. Like, yeah, you can that. tell, like, don't ever let your Mac guy tell you they ain't making no money. I Don't know. never, ever, ever believe that story that they ain't making no money. I, I tell you how we I ended up with that deal. Um, well, let's go out here and show it to them, <laughs> and then and then you can tell the story about it. Because I want y'all to check this out. Because like his dog boxes are even awesome. Like this thing is cool. All right, y'all check this out. So don't ever let your Mac guy say he ain't making no money. <laughs> Cause look what it's hooked to. Like this. Well, this is a sweet ride right here. Tell you how we ended up with the deal. You remember the story of our duck hunt from hell last year? <laughs> yeah. If for you guys that don't remember, that's when he got uh they got stuck in the mud pretty bad over in Arkansas. Destroyed a full wheeler, pretty much ripped the whole front off of it. It was. If you aren't from the south and never seen Mississippi gumbo mud, you really don't yeah, understand. Yeah, they don't understand because um, it's bad. It's like glue, pretty much. Yep. But after that deal, first part of that, that next week, my stepdad called me. He said, you know, he said, I don't use a side-by-side -side enough to justify going to get one for myself. And you don't ever use one enough either. But I think it's time we just go together and get a decent something we can get in and out of the woods on. There you go. So. And y'all did it. Like, check these racks out on here. And then got the big light bar on the top with a roof rack. Like, this is a fine, like, this is something Phil Robertson and Jason would be riding <laughs> around in right here. Y'all check that out. It's got his name. I don't know if y'all noticed that or not. It's got his name cut out in the front. I didn't know anything about that until my stepdad went to pick it up. He said, no, I don't know about just having your name all over the front of it, but. <laughs> Ah, it is well, that it way, is. if somebody steals it, they got to hey, take it off. Hey, there ain't no denying right? unless they cut it off. So yeah, that's cool. So don't ever let your back guy tell you he ain't making no money, cause right there is proof of it. So, y'all look at that bad Jeep. It's almost got you. You almost got enough light bars on it like mine. <laughs> <laughs> All them lights. You need a bigger alternator on that thing. Oh, them LEDs don't pull nothing. Like. He's got it figured out for duck hunting because when you're picking up decoys, it's always hard to see and you can't hold a flashlight in your mouth, you know, and if you try to use a headlamp, where's it always end up at, right? In the water. But he's even got poles back here so he can set his mojo ducks in there and that way they don't get the little plastic belly button broke off of them and then they ain't no good no more. Like there was some thought put into that rig. All right, guys, sorry about that. I got sidetracked. Uh, I like off-road stuff and duck hunting and this does both so <laughs> we just left the Mack truck if that's not enough excitement for you for a Thursday night I'm sorry but uh anyway like always thanks for watching if you like the video hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button it's totally free never cost you a dime you guys have a great week
Catch you later.